add two vectors. A equals 5 at 30 degrees, and B is 6 at negative 100 degrees. Here's A, 5 at 30 degrees, and 6 at negative 100 degrees. We can visualize what the sum of these two vectors is by putting the tail of the B vector at the head of the A vector. Then the sum of those two vectors is C, a vector from the tail of A to the head of B. That's our answer, C. How long is it? And at what angle is it? One way to answer the question is to resolve the A vector into rectangular components, resolve the B vector into rectangular components, and then add the rectangular components. The horizontal component of the A vector is 5 times the cosine of 30 degrees. The vertical component of the A vector is 5 times the sine of 30 degrees. The horizontal component of the B vector is 6 times the sine of 10 degrees. This small angle is 10 degrees. 100 minus 90 is 10 degrees. So the horizontal component is 6 times the sine of 10 degrees. And the vertical component is 6 times the cosine of 10 degrees. Adding the horizontal components first, AX plus BX equals CX. This is AX, this is BX, and the sum of those two vectors is CX. Doesn't look like 4.33 plus 1.04 equals 3.28 but it is because these are vectors. The numbers actually subtract and the direction of the resultant is the same direction as the larger component. We can visualize this better if we add the vectors head to tail, put the head of the A vector at the tail of the B vector, and then the resultant vector is from the tail of A to the head of B. Adding the vertical components exactly the same way. AY is 2.5 up. BY is 5.9 down. The sum of those two vectors is 3.4 down. Then combining the two components of the C vector, there's CX 3.28 and CY 3.4. Adding those two vectors, we get the C vector, 4.7. We have to use the Pythagorean theorem. CX squared plus CY squared, square root of that, equals C. And the angle with respect to the x-axis is 46 degrees. We can get that from the tangent function. The tangent of that angle is equal to CY divided by CX and then attach the negative sign because that's a clockwise angle with respect to the x-axis.